Hey everyone, it's Alan Peng from the APENG18 and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to talk about how things changed from the third draft script to the action movie called Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark once it was made. So does the film follow the traditional story arc of a distinct beginning, middle, and end? Or is it a less traditional form of storytelling? Well, the answer is, the movie Raiders Lost of the Ark does not follow the traditional storytelling. It got preamble part of which is like an independent short film. After the 13 minutes, the story went to the traditional setting. The preamble is about Indy exploring in the high jungle looking for the idol. Indy walks inside the dark cave to find the idol and escapes out of the cave to avoid getting trapped. Indy has to rush to the plane to avoid Indians from shooting him. Chuck Lindsay rescued Indy by the plane, then Indy went back to teach at college. So, um, the real beginning of the story starts from Indy teaching archaeology at college. Eaton and Musgrove came to see Indy because they intercept the Nazis' communication. It turned out Nazis was looking for the Ark of the Covenant. Marcus talked to Eaton and Musgrove and they agreed to hire Indy to look for the Ark. Then Indy took the plane and flew to Nepal to, fl to find headpiece to the Staff of Ra, which leads to the Ark. So the middle of the story got a lot of adventures. Um, Indy is in Nepal asking for the headpiece from Ravenwood at the bar. Ravenwood did not give him, uh, give it to him even after Indy gave her three thousand dollars. Her Mac tried to harm Ravenwood. In order to get the headpiece, um, Indy saved Ravenwood and both of them escaped with the headpiece. In Cario, uh, during the flight with Arabs and Germans, Marion was captured by Arabs with Shah's help. Indy went down to the map room at the German archaeology site where he found the location of the Ark. Shala and Indy retrieved uh, the Ark from the, the chamber of the exploration site, but the Germans got the Ark and locked Indy and Marion down the chamber with full of snakes. Um, Indy and Marion escaped. Um, Indy tries to stop Germans from shipping the Ark back to Germany. When Indy shipped the Ark back to the America, Germans captured the boat, got the Ark, and brought it to the mountain to perform the spiritual ceremony. The fire from the Ark melted taught in Dietrich's face and exploded Belok's head. By keeping their eyes closed, Indy and Marion escaped the wrath of God and saved themselves. At the end of the movie, um, Indy went back to Washington DC to see Eaton and Musgrove again. Marion is very glad to see Indy as well. Um, the Ark has been put in back in the wooden box and stored it somewhere else safe. 
So I feel like the visual storytelling was very dramatic. The way the movie would use character emotional and resolution were very compliant. The music was very excited, and I enjoyed watching this adventurous movie. I loved it. So bef so before we get to the shoutouts, um, check out my best friend Eddie Hughes the Force video podcast, which is um talking fun with Edo. Interviewing me, episode two, and also check out Edo Numo's fourth original channel, and subscribe to his both channels. So, thank you all, and now to the shoutouts. So our shout outs here we're gonna start off with which is Keegan Eugene Ostafi Douglas Fortuna Jeffrey Rodriguez Lewis Kelly Sophie the British Tom Headmaster Mr. Michael Splash McLean Neil Patrick Harris, Ryan Malgarini, Justin Timberlake, Fritz the Frog, Magician J Frog, Rupert Friend, Jonas the Scientist, Digger the Dolphin, Mona Lisa, and last but not least, Mike Richards. Thank you guys for watching, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. You can also follow me here on social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and LinkedIn. You can also check my portfolio website here. And thank you all for watching this video. So we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Before we get started on the video, uh, please check out Edo Hughes Coming up next, the Apang 18. We'll be right back. Keep it here.